What is up YouTube and welcome to another Crib Zone excursion. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up, subscribe for more. We're about to print some HD pics. Welcome to another Crib Zone and in this one, I'll be giving you guys my best attempt at recreating a Casey Neistat video. I haven't really watched many of his videos. I've only watched about five. I'm really attracted to the way he makes his videos. He pretty much makes a mini movie inside all the videos. The way he sends out his daily activities is just so freaking creative. It takes so much work from his part to take all that footage and to edit everything. As far as does he have an editing team and such, I'm pretty sure he he does at this point in his career he can't be the one running everything he can't be editing all this stuff does Casey Neistat work alone hell no he does not work alone I can guarantee you he has a huge team behind him I don't know if you guys can tell but everything is super foggy there are a couple fires in California at the moment the biggest one being in Sonoma which I believe is like in San Francisco what am I attracted to from Casey Neistat's video if you guys don't know about Casey Neistat he makes vlog videos I wouldn't consider Consider this to be a vlog just because I'm behind the camera I would have to be showing myself to the camera in order to for it to be considered a vlog here we go my first attempt at a vlog another thing I really enjoy from Casey Neistat is how he transitions from cutscenes by swerving the camera such as this this would be considered a vlog the fact that I'm pointing the camera at my face and recording myself would make this a vlog. What are my videos considered? I would consider my videos to be, oh, uh, we have a dog. Another thing I really enjoy from Casey is how he leaves the camera down in a certain spot and he films himself passing by. In order to do that, you would need to live in a very secure neighborhood, which I do not. I live in a really dangerous city. Will I be leaving my camera stationary? Walk 10 feet away from it just so I could film myself? Probably not, except in isolated areas such as these right here. Casey Neistat does run a DSLR with a shotgun microphone setup. I run a GoPro Hero 5 Black with a cheap lapel microphone that I purchased off Amazon. I actually am planning to buy a DSLR next week, but of course I will not be using the DSLR in situations where crypto is pulling me like so. I will not risk dropping the damn $600 camera, which I mean, it's the same thing as this GoPro, but I will not be using the DSLR like videos such as these. I'll be mostly using the DSLR for pictures and as well as cinematic videos. Look forward to a DSLR video unboxing sometime next week. Oh, the camera's dirty. Hey. I'm pretty sure Casey's sponsored by Boosted Boards. All those are our electric skateboards. Me, myself, I'm sponsored by Crypto. Pretty sure the Boosted Board could go slightly faster than Crypto can. Probably not. Some of you guys have said, oh, you should get a Boosted Board to exercise Crypto. Yeah, if the thing didn't cost $1,000, owning a boosted board would be insane. I would be able to pretty much exercise crypto nonstop without having to worry about pushing one time. Oh, wait, wait. Does that mean the channel will never have a boosted board? If the channel continues to grow, opportunities keep arriving, I'm pretty sure the channel will feature a boosted board at some point. So the boosted board project is in the making. We just have to make our way up there. For now, we're stuck to a $60 long board off of Amazon, which will do just fine. There's a couple holes, but I'm pretty sure he won't. <laughs> Come boy! Come boy! No, 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 no! Come boy! Oh, you like this hand, huh? Stay in here, bitch! Stay here. You want some water? I've actually never seen a Casey Neistat video until YouTube just randomly started recommending all of his videos to everybody on YouTube. The reason why YouTube recommends, if they see that you're making nice videos, quality content, people enjoy watching them, they'll start recommending your video so both you and YouTube can make money and encourage you to make more videos. Casey blew up. Casey isn't the only YouTube channel that's blown up out of nowhere due to daily vlogging. 
if you make daily vlogs, that just means you're making videos once every day. Wow. So of course people will be watching. There was a huge era on YouTube where all the daily vloggers got loads of love from YouTube. Casey went strong with the daily vlogs for more than a hundred days straight. I don't even know how many months that is. That's probably like four months. What the hell do you film four months straight? The result of filming four months straight is if you've seen any of Casey's videos on his studio, this dude has 20 broken cameras posted on the freaking wall. If you are daily vlogging, you need to make things entertaining, which will result in you going out and trying to think of new activities. One of his videos that I have watched, he mentions that it's really important to actually have a story for the point of the video, or else why would you be making the video in the first place? You need a really nice story to intrigue people. That being said, I'm about to longboard down a freaking grass hill. No, I'm not. So before he starts a video, he makes sure he has a topic. You have to have a topic for the video. In my case, in this video, I'm talking about him. Isn't that weird? I do believe Casey lives somewhere in San Francisco. Don't quote me on that. Like I've said, I've only watched like five of his videos. He's one of the most successful YouTubers out there. I want you guys to go down to the comments and let me know if you guys know about Casey. Pretty sure you've seen at least one of his videos. You don't have to be a fan of him. I'm personally not a fan of him. I'm a fan of how he makes his videos. Since I am planning to buy a DSLR, like I said, I will be using this for mostly photography purposes. I am planning on making a photography playlist. We'll be going out, trying to take nice pictures of all my dogs, of the rat, especially of the rat. I feel like you guys would really enjoy high quality pictures of the rat as well as the fruit. I've actually never worked with the DSLR before. I'll be completely new to the camera scene. I did take photography, but I used like a extremely cheap camera and a really funny experience I had in that class. There was this one time, this was in college. And I had a friend who also had an extremely cheap camera like me. It was like a project type thing where the teacher goes up to the second story. He gets a bucket of water and he drops the water. We're supposed to take a picture of the falling water. So the whole class is at the bottom. We all have our cameras ready and me and my friend are extremely prepared to catch the falling water. I always laugh when I think about this. This was probably one of the highlights of my college career. He drops the water. My friend's camera decides to just shut off. He missed all two times that he dropped the water. That was the funniest moment of college. I was laughing so hard at that fail. Let's sum things up. If you're looking to film like Casey Neistat, a couple things you need. Most importantly, you need a story to tell. That's the main thing you need, a story. Second thing you need, you need a camera. Casey uses a DSLR. That doesn't mean you have to, you could use a, oh my gosh, a cat. Slow down, hey, hey. Oh my God, bro. That does not mean you need a DSLR. A cell phone could do the exact same thing a DSLR can, which is record. Third thing you will need, an external microphone. This is my mic right here, and this is actually the first video I filmed where I don't have the foam tip. I'm gonna need to switch mics. This is the newer microphone right here. This is about $6 off of Amazon. If you're looking to have really nice content, you will need an external microphone. You need the audience to know exactly what you want them to be hearing, which is exactly what the external audio does. A camera microphone picks up everything around it. Not ideal when you're trying to tell a story. And that's about it. That's all you need to film like Casey Neistat. YouTube is an amazing platform where you can tell a story. If you learn how to utilize that power, you can be an extremely powerful person. And Casey has very well demonstrated this. That dude probably has sponsors by freaking Victoria's Secret at this point. A huge problem I see with his videos is the fact that when he does film, everybody, everybody, Buddy recognizes him. That's probably the biggest reason I haven't face revealed. I have shown my face before in live streams and such, but I've actually never face revealed. You guys are asking, when are you gonna face reveal? I'll be doing a face reveal at 200,000 subs. Does that mean I'll show my face in every video? I don't want the fame. Fame is very dangerous. You do not want to be famous, trust me. The fact that when I go out without crypto and I'm just a normal guy is really attractive to me. 
me. I have always said that I'm doing a face reveal at 200,000 subs and I'm sticking to that. 200,000 subs, we will be having a face reveal. Long ways away from that, a good amount of time to remain incognito in this city. It's a good feeling knowing that none of my followers actually know how I look. I've met a couple people and they tell me to film them and put them on camera. You do not want to be famous. Yo, look at that chopper. Is that Woodson? Is that Woodson? Is that Woodson? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Ooh, Woodson has a little crayon. Jeez. <laughs> What? Mm, you like that, huh? What's that? Get over there! Gonna go ahead and be it for this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Subscribe for more. Peace! Feel free to follow me on Instagram and on Snapchat at KZE underscore production.